This is Craig, AC5KW, and Mark, W5MAE, on the computer. In this training, we'll be talking about WinLink peer-to-peer email. If you haven't installed RMS Express and familiarized yourself with sending WinLink email, please review the RMS Express basic training. If you haven't configured your VHF rig and TNC for RMS Express, please review the RMS Express packet training, then return to this training. WinLink email is a major component in disaster communications. We all need to know how to use it and develop our own capability to support it in an emergency. The agencies that we serve prefer to use email whenever possible. Our job is to get the message through, and voice communications does not get the job done. So to review, your RMS Express is called a WinLink client. The Austin SeaTac W5TQ-10 station is an RMS server. The term WinLink server is synonymous with RMS server. The server uses one or more programs, including RMS Packet, to receive your email and forward it through the Internet to a backbone of CMS servers. When you connect to the RMS server from your client, the RMS server queries a CMS server for any email addressed to your station and forwards it to you. It accepts any email that you have posted to your outbox and forwards it to an Internet CMS server. RMS Express also supports the exchange of email between two clients. This is called peer-to-peer or P2P mode. RMS servers do not accept peer-to-peer connections. It's just between clients. RMS Express can exchange peer-to-peer email with another RMS Express client or a recent airmail client. Peer-to-peer connections are very useful when the recipient of your email is within VHF simplex range of your station because the connection can be made on any available frequency agreed upon between you and the receiving station. This moves email traffic off of congested RMS server frequencies, saving critical bandwidth for other stations. Peer-to-peer connections can also be made with the aid of a digipeter. Even if the digipeter is on an RMS server frequency, it still helps reduce congestion by directly transferring the email to the recipient client rather than through the two-step process of placing it on the server and later receiving it. Dude, peer-to-peer connections are so useful you should practice them with your friends until you can do it before your first cup of coffee in the morning. Let's send a peer-to-peer email. In RMS Express, you must decide when you create an email whether you're going to send it to a WinLink server or send it P2P to another client. Click Peer-to-Peer Message. The message must be addressed to the call sign of the station that will receive it. You can only address a P2P message to that single station. Then post it to the outbox. Open the packet session. At the top, click on Switch to -to Peer-to-Peer Session. Type the recipient station call sign into the Connect Station field and include a digipeter if necessary. The recipient station must prepare to receive a P2P connection by opening the packet session and switching to the P2P session. A voice net is often used to coordinate P2P email exchanges. Both stations should check their frequency selection, and the station with the traffic presses Start to initiate the connection. Because the recipient station has the packet P2P session active, it answers the call and exchanges the email. Only email created as P2P and addressed to the other station in the connection will be exchanged. When sending P2P email, it's very easy to forget to address the email P2P when it's created. Also, to forget to switch the packet session to P2P. It's also very easy to forget to switch them back to the WinLink message and WinLink session when it's time to connect to a WinLink server. If your P2P email exchange is not working, check these things first. RMS Express and other WinLink components use the B2F protocol as partially documented on the web. In this case, AC5KW is connecting to W5MAE. After the connection is made, W5MAE sends its SID. The SID includes the application name, version number, and capabilities of the station. 
In this case, W5MAE is running RMS Express with B2FHM dollar sign capabilities. All WinLink applications provide at least this set of capabilities. If the other station had been an RMS server, the capabilities would also include W, I, and J. The next line shows that W5MAE is talking to AC5KW. The right angle bracket means that it's AC5KW's turn to transmit. AC5KW transmits its SID followed by a comment that AC5KW is talking to W5MAE and containing AC5KW's grid square. Notice that your station's transmissions are indented. AC5KW then makes a proposal for an email exchange using the FC command. EM indicates that it's an email message. The MID unique message identifier is provided. Then the uncompressed and compressed message sizes in bytes are provided. In this case, AC5KW also makes a second proposal for another email exchange. The F right angle bracket means that it's W5MAE's turn to transmit. W5MAE indicates its willingness to receive the two files by sending an FS command with Y and Y, indicating approval for both files. W5MAE could have rejected either file by using an N in place of the Y. RMS Express will do that if the email is too long. AC5KW then transmits both files. The files are compressed to reduce the transmission time. When the files have been received, it's time for W5MAE to transmit. W5MAE makes a proposal for an email exchange, and the F right angle bracket means that it's AC5KW's turn to transmit. AC5KW sends an FS command with a Y indicating acceptance of the file. W5MAE transmits the file, and it's time for AC5KW to transmit. AC5KW sends an FF, indicating that it has no more files to exchange, and it's time for W5MAE to transmit. W5MAE sends an FQ, indicating that it has no more files to exchange, and it's time to disconnect. If either station had more files, it would make another proposal, and the cycle would repeat. Because there are no more messages, the stations disconnect. Master these techniques and you become a critical asset in drills and emergency responses. Everybody will love you. And remember to keep your email short. It should not exceed 30K. The shorter, the better. It was a pleasure. 73 from Craig AC5KW and Mark W5MAE out.